Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube land. This is Jesse Burn 21 coming at you guys with a uh, first place win a mat for uh, Houston Regionals here with Pete Sidney and uh, he's going to show us what he was playing and uh, what were you playing? I was playing Kaiju Dark Magicians. Kaiju Dark Magicians. So let's get into the deck profile and show everybody what you were playing. Alright, first there's three Dark Magicians. You kind of have to run those. Uh, three of the the roto for the deck. Mm -hmm. um, what you can do with this guy, you just search for any Dark Magician spell or trap card. Um, you play three Illusion Magician. Uh, what he can do is um, you can put someone in if you activate a card effect during your opponent's turn. Then you can, or um, while he's on the field, you can put someone in Dark Magician from your graveyard if you um, activate a card effect during that turn. So he's but pretty busted in that regard, and that's the Dark Magician engine. I played two Sage with Eyes of Blue and two Effect Veilers. Sage searches Veiler. Uh, Veiler is there to stop, like, you know, bad matchups and all that. It's also a level 1 tuner because I play a lot of level 8 Supros. Um, and yeah, it's also a busted play that I can actually show you guys later. Okay. I play three Raiden and two Kamongus. I play these because they're level, they're all level 7. Um, this one's dark, so he's actually an alert target and a sacred sword target. He's just a sacred sword target, but and he's also weaker, so that's, you kind of need that. Oh, that's always good. Yeah. That's it for the monsters. Spells. Three Dark Magical Circle. This card is the nuts. Um, you draw it, or you will, when you play it, you um, look at the top three cards of your deck, get a Dark Magician Spoiler Trap card. It has, it's that same Dark Magician that takes. Um, and then if your Dark Magician is summoned um, during your player's turn, like at any time, you can banish one card on the field. And, and it does target, which sucks. And it also triggers off of this guy, because he's, his name is Dark Magician when he's on the field. Okay. So it still disrupts plays and yeah. makes for good combos. Disrupts plays, yeah. And to Illusion Magic, mm -hmm. um, this one you can choose one spellcaster on the field to um, search for two Dark Magicians from your graveyard or your deck. Oh, and that's then one Dark Magic attack, it's pretty much Harpy's uh, Feather Duster. It's pretty busted. Yeah. Uh, it's for only back row removal, which kind of sucks, but like the deck is very tight. Yeah. Three Allure of Darkness to draw two desires with sacred sword that's all just to draw just to draw and yeah the um you don't actually care about banishing too much with um desires because there's actually like something you can do to to counteract that oh okay <clears throat> um three interrupt the kaiju slubbers because summoning any level seven at any time is very good because you want the four tuners to go into your level eights oh that's good be tied for the best card in the deck um, it's the first trap you run, um, Eternal Soul. What this does is when you activate it, you can either search for a Dark Magic attack, or you can special summon a Dark Magician from your um, your graveyard or your hand. Um, when you special summon a Dark Magician, it does activate the Dark Magical Circle, so you just summon, banish, summon, banish. That's oh, all you that's do. awesome. Um, sometimes your Dark Magicians do get stuck on board, which is what I had a problem with. That's why I put the level 1 tuners in there. So you can um, summon, on, summon on your turn, uh, banish something, and then Secret Summon, they summon, summon again on your opponent's turn to uh, banish again. <clears throat> uh, two magical Magician Navigation. Uh, it's, it used to be the, the way to summon Dark Magician back in the day before Eternal Souls. But um, now you only need to run two of them. Um, it summons a Dark Magician from your hand and a level 7 or lower Dark Spellcaster from your, um, your deck. Um, it triggers off your your circles and there's other effect is when it's in a graveyard except to turn it to a center of the graveyard You can banish it to the gate one face up spell a trap card um, It doesn't have to stay face up. It just has to be face up So it doesn't negate like things that other things that banish. That's the reason they say that oh, okay. you know? And then to round it out you just just four solemns. Oh, okay, the whole solemn brigade right yeah. there Because uh, you go you draw so much you just draw to everything set everything and then you just play in your opponent's turn Oh, yeah, you want to have that the extra backup. Of course. And then up to the extra, we have, you know, two tokens. Uh, oh, yeah. Shout outs to Angel Fuentes for letting me borrow his Mithril token for so long. I'll get it back to you eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one Ebon Illusion and one Ebon, Ebon Hive. Uh, I actually don't know what this guy does at all. I just have him because he's a level 7 <laughs> and he's Dark yeah. Magician. Uh, this go. one, you can summon a, um, a Dark Magician from your deck or your hand. 
and if a dark magician attacks, you can um, banish one uh, card on the field. So you can use this, summon him, use his effect, summon, banish something with the circle, uh, attack with the dark magician, banish something else. Nice. So that's pretty busted about that. <clears throat> I'm running one red eyes metal flare. This guy gets you game so much because like really does. You, you you attack with a lot of twenty five. So like they usually leave him like like five hundred or something. You just <laughs> like make one of these and ruins the game the day. Um, one big eye because level seven Draco sack level seven self explanatory of course. <clears throat> One Stardust Dragon. Um, I actually played against in, in the main event, um, the main tournament. I played against Metal Foes, and the guy didn't know that if Stardust Dragon can negate that, the Metal oh, Foes popping right. to get us um, a thing. So I, I like that, that was pretty much the nuts on that part. But yeah, it was pretty good. Um, Crimson Blader. There's actually like a very busted play you can do with with on this deck. So. You can use Interrupted Slumber, give your opponent a Kaiju, and you take a Kaiju as well. So, you both have a Kaiju. You can Normal Summon any level 1 tuner, Synchro for the um, synchro for the Crimson Blader, and then you can attack over the, the Kaiju you gave them, and then now they can't summon anything level 5 and higher now. Oh, okay, that's, re that's real good. Yeah, and if you happen to summon a Sage, you get the Veiler, of course. But yeah, like they can't summon um, anything level five and higher, so it beats like metal foes, it beats um, blue eyes, it beats um, ABCs that just came out right now. Uh, they can still play rank fours, which is you know not that good. But yeah. you beat metal foes. I mean, not not metal foes. Um, you beat dark. I mean, blue eyes for sure. Yeah, for sure on the blue eyes and metal foes. Sometimes though, they can't pinch them some of the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. And then so there's that. Um, Scrap Dragon. Uh, it's actually pretty busted if you combo with like. Your can't be destroyed guys right here. Oh, um, okay. I also play another can't be destroyed guy, which is this one. If you come up with that, you get like infinite pops, or you can just pop like the extra circles you get. Oh, that's always good. Clear out. All right, Cypher Blood Omega. That's how you get over the um the pot of desires because it can put um, your navigations back to the graveyard if they're face down, or your dark magicians back to the graveyard if they're face down to summon them again with their eternal soul or to get extra negates. Nice. Um. I played a Colossal Fighter, just um, like, I, I, it doesn't do too much, but it's another thing to summon. Yeah, I just wanted to have that option. Yeah, and Scarlight, uh, it's, it actually won me one game against Shiranui, which was in, in the finals of the winner Uh I just summoned this, destroyed his whole board, and he really couldn't couldn't come back from it. He, he destroyed it, but he couldn't really come back from it. And then I played these three, just because I side Ghost Reapers, Ghost Cherry guy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's why I play these three. <laughs> oh, okay. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so that was the main and extra deck of the Dark Magician Kaijus. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say? Any shout outs? Um, shout outs to Card Shack for sure. Um, it, they sponsored me with like a lot of cards. Uh, I'm very grateful for them. Um, shout outs to um, Guillermo Bodoras. He actually um, let, like, let me borrow the strikes for so long. I'm very grateful for that. Um, shout outs to Ricky Lou for letting me borrow the Pot of Desires. I love you for that. And that's pretty much it. All right. Uh, well, this was Jesse Burn 21 with uh, Pete Sidney with Dark Magician Kaijus. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Uh, thank you very much.